So I'm on my desktop on a Windows computer. If you go down here to search, you can type in what you want to look for. So in this case, I want to look for paint. I could spell it. So on Microsoft, it's called paint. There's a paint 3D, but I'm going to use paint. First, you want to take a picture of your yarn, like I did here. Make sure your lighting is really good. Um, you might want to do this by a window with natural light. Um, you could do it in full sunlight, but it might wash the colors out. Um, but the trick is to get a good, well-lit picture so that your colors in your picture are true, or as close to true as you want. You also want a picture of your pattern, either the chart or a finished project that is displayed in a way that you could easily uh, color over it, <laughs> if you get where I'm going with this. So we have paint open, and I'm going to go find my yarn first of all. So we're going to open, I'm going to go find my yarn colors. This is really big, so I'm going to go down here in the corner, zoom out. So in this particular project, I would like to use these four colors. My teal is a little off, but that's okay. Um, again, with photos, sometimes the colors don't quite come out perfect, but at least you have a starting point. So take your little uh, color picker. <laughs> it looks like an eye drop. And let's start with brown. So let's go to a part of the brown, not the washed out part and not the really dark part, but somewhere in the middle that just shows a really good sort of med middle ground, uh, which is more close to the real color. And it will put that color right here, whichever color you picked. If I pick two really light color, it, you'll see, see how it changes. That's very light. That's like a shadow. So obviously that's not what we want. We want something right in the middle that represents the basic color that we're going for. Let's go with maybe here. No, that's a little dark. You just have to pick the right pixel. Uh, it's a little light. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just go with what we want. That looks a little light to me. If you take your yarn and compare it to your computer, which sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do, um, you can kind of just see how close it is. And so what the beauty of this is, if you go here, you can fine tune that. Here is the color that the color picker picked. We could make it darker. We could make it lighter. Um, this up and down scale is how much, I guess, gray is in it or how washed out the color is. Not washed out because if it's dark, it's not necessarily washed out. It's just muted. Um, the higher up we go, the more saturated. If you look at the brown, it turns to red. And if I go down in the middle, it kind of looks brown. And then it goes to gray. So you can see how it changes. It adds more, I guess, white to the color, but it's like more of a gray. It adds grays to the color. It's not as saturated. So I think it was around here. Anyway, so we can make it darker, lighter, more saturated, less saturated. Maybe it's a little more yellow. So just play with this little thing right here to get about where your color is. So I'd say my color is right about there. And it's probably, uh, let's just go with that one. Okay, take a piece of paper, write down this hex number right here. So I'm going to write this down in a notepad. Um, so this is my brown equals... Uh, A6755D. I guess I could put the hashtag sign. Okay, so we're going to do that for each color. And green. So let's minimize that. And now I'm going to close this up. Now I'm going to go to green. And my green's pretty bright, so I'm going to go with the lighter. Uh, I want that little lighter, but I can do that over here and just make it just a hair lighter because I'm looking at the yarn in person and to me it looks about that color. I'm going to take this hex code, copy it. To copy, if you take your left mouse button and then drag your mouse over it and then let go, that highlights the whole thing. And then to copy, I'm going Control-C, the Control key and C. 
some people don't know that, so I might as well mention it. So now I'm going to control V as in Victor. It's not P for paste because P is for print. <laughs> anyway, paste that there. Um, okay, and so now we're going to go to our next color and let's go to red because that one looks pretty close. I think the red, that's a little washed out. That might be more close to, that may be a little dark, but again, we can go in here. We can go a little lighter. We can go just a hair more muted, maybe a little lighter. It's kind of a bright red. And again, I'm looking at the yarn over to my side. Um, I'd say it's probably about that color. Um, copy our hex code. Go to my notepad. And then we go to teal. Teal for me never shows up well in a picture. I don't know why. This is a super rich color that I'm looking at. It's actually Sapphire and Big Twist uh, brand. Um, so to me it looks very saturated and rich um but in this picture it just looks very washed out so i'm gonna go for a darker tone and i'm just gonna brighten it up a bit in here so i'm gonna make it a little more green because to me teal is a little more green and now i can just brighten it up a bit like maybe maybe there okay copy that and then we're gonna paste that there Okay, we have our colors. So, anyway, now I'm going to go look for my design. And you may see a design online, uh, a chart. You may get a picture of a design, um, you know, or wherever you get the design. This is my design. I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to use yet, so now I'm going to open. Okay, so we take our picture, and we have our colors that we had copied before. So now we can just fill in these spaces with those new colors. Um, so let's start with red. So if we go to the red color, we highlight that, copy. I'm going to go here, I'm going to fill that in, paste, hit OK. We're going to go to our paint bucket and we're going to fill in all the red colors. You have to fill in each one and if you accidentally hit the wrong thing, just hit Control Z to undo. Or you have these little undo buttons here. So I'm going to continue filling it in. Okay, that's my red. So now let's do the brown. So now we have our brown selected. We're going to go to our paint bucket. You just want to make sure the tip of the paint bucket is in the space. I don't think the, the little bucket itself has to be in, but that tip has to be there. And this is just a subtle change. And you can always zoom in and out down here if you have to. So now let's do green. Uh, do green. Green. Okay. Boop. Looks weird with the white background, but let's see what it looks like with the white or the teal. Let's see what it looks like with the teal background. And this will give us a good idea if our colors, oops, I did the wrong thing. Let's go copy and then paste and then okay and here. And so now we can kind of get an idea, like, do I like those colors together? Those look, yes, no, maybe, um, you know, maybe I have another background color. I was thinking purple. So maybe I wanted to go with this uh, like a plum color. Let's just pick a nice plum. And then let's try that. My bucket's always, already selected. So we'll try the plum color. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, it doesn't look good with the green to me. And it blends too much with the brown. Um, maybe we decide we want to change the brown to black. So I'm going to select black paint bucket. And now I'm going to click on these. It's like, actually, that doesn't look bad. And maybe I decide I don't want that green. I want something different. Maybe, maybe more of a, I have a bright grass green or something. Like a fluorescent neon green. <laughs> there we go. And then we want to fill that in. And so you can kind of see that it just, it gives you some options to, um, kind of play around with 
um, different colors and see if you like the combinations or not. Again, you can take pictures of your yarn and good lighting to try and get that hex code that we had talked about um, so that you can uh, figure out whether you like those colors or not. Ooh, the dark red looks cool too. Uh, let's go back. I don't like that, so I'm going to go undo. Undo as many times as you want. I think there may be a history of like 20 undos. So I was just searching in Google Play uh, for an app that your phone camera can be utilized to grab the color of the thing it's looking at. I haven't tested this out, but you could try downloading one of these apps. There's a few different ones. Um, looks like similar apps. Uh, so my guess is what you do is you take your phone camera and you aim it at the thing. Probably like for this one, I'm, I'm assuming it's a paint app, but you aim it at the item that you want to get the color and then it will give you the color code. I am not sure. I have not used this before, but this may be a way to get the hex code for the color that you want to use. Anyway, just some, a little extra idea there that you might try out. I'm sure there's apps out there for that. In fact, this one looks like it does give you the codes. Um, I can't see up close, but it looks like this gives you some codes to play with. So anyway, thought I'd mention that. <laughs> anyway, that's one way you can play with color combinations to see if you like something or not. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it uh, informative and it's given you more tools in your crochet toolbox. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will be adding more videos in the future. Thanks. Have a good day.